guys, it's Tina and I'm back. And I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe. If you're back, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again. Say hi to the family for me. But if you're new and maybe you like what you see, please consider subscribing because we have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty. And today I have a fun video in store. I haven't done one of these videos in quite a while and I've been missing doing them but to be honest I haven't been inspired and I've been a little bit lazy but today cut it out no more we are doing a build your own palette based on a existing or newly released palette this time around you already know from the title it is the Natasha Denona Retro Glam Palette. Now I'm going to give kudos where kudos are due, okay? Natasha Denona does really great color stories and I love seeing the inspirational looks behind the palettes as well because they're always some great eyeshadow looks that I'm like, oh listen, I need to replicate that one, okay? It is beautiful, hands down, need to do it. So this time around, we are going to try to duplicate the vibes of this palette. Not necessarily replicating this exact color story. I'm going to come pretty close, not gonna lie, but we're gonna play around in my singles, try to duplicate this palette. This is a 15 pan eyeshadow palette that retails for $69. And I don't purchase from Natasha Denona just because of personal history, but I do enjoy her color stories and I do think she's a great makeup artist all around. It's just that she's not necessarily a nice person to me, but I love looking at her palettes, okay? Credit where credit is due. I'm not a hater like that. So I'm going to play around, build this palette, and we're also going to do a fun eyeshadow look because not only was I inspired by her palette, I was also inspired by her looks. This one specifically, it's the look that I'm wearing right now. So you're gonna also see this at the end of the video. So like I said, there's a lot of fun to be had with this video and without much further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. We're gonna start out with building the palette and then we'll jump into this look. All right, so let's just get right into it. As usual, when I start trying to build a palette, I first look at the palette itself, the promo pictures, and Natasha Denona actually does a really good job with her promo pics and the swatches. So I like to take a look at the palette up close and personal a little bit first. And from what I can tell, there are some muted, minted, and sage greens. So these greens aren't true olive or forest greens. These are definitely more muted, even on the seafoam side. Then we have a couple of pinks as well. So we have this shimmery, like icy peachy pink, this more muted pink, this rosy pink, and we have some deeper darkening shades. Those look more on the bronzy side, but they have some green accents to them. I don't know, maybe I'm seeing things, but that's just what I'm seeing based on the photo. Let's look at the swatches because this is where we can really get some details. Looking at these two swatches. So these arm swatches are the ones I would look at since they're closest to my skin tone. So we have all the greens swatched out and as I said, they look more muted, almost gray toned and they're more on the sage and minty side rather than being like bright grass green. We have Palladian that looks a little silver, so we'll keep an eye on that. Marlin is also kind of silvery with like a little bit of minty green to it. Then we have the pinky rosy tones. Those are pretty easy to duplicate. And then the deeper shades. Okay, now that I'm seeing these swatched out, I can see that these are more taupey, almost leaning on gray and silver. I like this and I like how they did the swatches here. They separated them by color story with the grays and the taupes kind of separated out from the pinks and the greens. I like that. All right, so 
We have an idea of that palette in our mind and it's a 15 pan eyeshadow palette which is quite doable. And here are the shade descriptions and I'll pop up the picture of the palette and highlight each shade as I give you the description. So we have Oz, which is a deep sage green with a metallic finish. So that is one of the darkest green shades. We have Fringe, which is a medium mint green with a matte finish, again. Evergreen, which is a forest green with a matte finish. And Palladian is a minty silver with a metallic finish. Remember we said there was that silver shade? We also have Sage, which is a sage green with a matte finish. Marlin is a mint green with a metallic finish. Then we move into the pinks. We have Holly, which is a light dusty rose with a matte finish. Flare is a rosy red with a metallic finish. And Belle is a mauve with a matte finish. Into the more neutral gray tones, we have Jazzy, which is a dark brown with a metallic finish. Oscar is a bronze with a metallic finish. Faye is a slate brown with a matte finish. Flutter is a gold with a metallic finish. Maxi is a charcoal brown with a metallic finish. And then Lucy is a smoky taupe with a matte finish. I also wanted to mention the collection from Mel Thompson. I miss Mel so, so much. She was such a light in this beauty community. So Mel had created her own mini retro inspired palette because she was tired of waiting for Natasha Denona to release a larger retro palette. She was just so in love and inspired by mini retro that she went ahead and did like a larger color story. And it's pretty close to what Natasha Denona did with this new retro glam palette. It's a little bit more colorful art. It's a lot more colorful and I love that because Mel loved color as much as I did. And it's such a great flashback to Mel and just how great she was at creating color stories. So she created her palette using singles from Sydney Grace and here they are swatched out and Sydney Grace created this bundle that you can now pick up on their website Site. I think it's currently sold out but they will be restocking and she got so close to the actual color story of retro glam I love it you can see the pinks and the muted greens hers is brighter of course but I think this is so great to see and it's a great memory of Mel so if you wanted to check it out definitely check it out and here are all the swatches so you can see they're kind of similar to these swatches but they're bolder and more intense. This is obviously more colorful, but I love this inspiration as well. So I wanted to show you guys in case you wanted to just pick up a set of shades from Sydney Grace. Now I'm going to go ahead and build my own retro glam palette, but I'm going to keep it pretty close to the color story that Natasha Denona created. And I'm using some of the looks that were created from the palette as inspiration as well. So we have this beautiful, pink and mossy green look and I love how this looks. We also have this more smoky icy look and I want to get a shade that's that light champagne. And this is the look that I am most inspired by and it's the one that I recreated in this video. Of course it has my own spin on it but I just love how this looks and the model is very close to my skin tone so I am feeling this vibe for sure. We also have like the minty greens. You can see more of that champagne gold. I'm definitely going to have to grab a shade that looks very close to that. We also have this rosy pink. I don't know how in love I am with that, but I love the gray taupey shades. Here we have another version of the look that I was mostly inspired by. And I am so in love. Like that gray in the crease, stop. I am so in love with it. Here's the minty greens on the richer skin tone. And I think that is absolutely stunning. Look at her lips. Oh, I'm so in love. Here's more of the pink. Oh my God. So let's go ahead and jump into the Retro Glam Palette. Now the first brand I thought about when I looked at this color story and saw how muted and kind of grungy and gray toned it was, I was like, of course, Lethal Cosmetics. 
So I am going to grab my shades from Lethal. Like, come on, like, what are we thinking here? So I'm going to look for some of the gray tone neutrals here and also some of the muted, like, minty greens. Now, surprisingly, I didn't get a ton of gray tone shades here, but we're going to put these in the run-in. They're under consideration. I'll pop them in here. But I also have my Sydney Grace singles, which I think are going to have some great options available. This is a palette of some of their newer shades and some of their shades that I was also playing around with. So let's see if we can grab a couple of shades from them as well. All right, so we have a few shades there. You know what? I'm going to try to find some more minty tones as well as some of the pinks. Have you guys ever heard of this brand? This is an indie brand. It's called Burnovich, and they sent me quite a few of their shades. And I mean, their eyeshadows are really stunning, but I think we might have a couple of minty shades here to try out. They may be a little bit too bright, but I'll still like play around and see what we can grab from this selection because they have stunning shades. I mean, look at those shimmers. Oh my God. I think these may be too sheer, so let's keep looking. Here's some more Sydney Grace. And I think we have some gray and green tones here that may work out. All right, let's grab another palette. This is also from Sydney Grace, but these are their pinky tones. So let's see if any of these pop out as one of those rosy shades from the palette. All right, I think we have enough shades to choose from. So let's try to figure it out. All right, let's start out with like the easiest shade to get out the way, the mint. So I don't quite have a mint shade that is as muted as the one in the palette. I think this one from Burnovich may be the closest. This is a, ooh, maybe this one's a little bit more sagey. It swatches, no, I think this would be the more sagey one. Let me see the ones from Lethal. No, that is way too bright. So I'm thinking we're going to just have to go with this one from Burnovich. This is an 01, so we'll grab that. Don't mind this bruise on my arm. I don't know where it came from. It doesn't hurt, but yeah, it popped up today. Don't, don't even ask questions. At this age, I don't know, okay? I just don't know. All right, let's do the pink because I think the pink maybe pretty easy and I'm talking about Holly which is the matte dusty rose and I feel like this shade from Sydney Grace may be the one it's a muted dusty pink with a little bit of peach to it and I feel like that is spot on but I can also use this one which is Peyton's puppy this is more peachy though it's not as pink but it's pretty close, right? These two are pretty good. The Burnovich one, number 13, I feel like is gonna be too pink. But do we want that more bright pink? That's the question. Do we want a brighter pink or a dusty pink? And if we're doing the dusty pink, I think we're going to need to go with Fairy Tale from Sydney Grace. I'm just feeling like that's the shade we need to Mm, yeah, that's the shade we need to go for. And then the dusty mauve. I didn't pick a dusty mauve. I need to get a mauve shade. But for now, let's use that from Sydney Grace. 
um, for the shade flare which is the shimmery rosy red with the metallic finish I feel like this is it that's it right there that looks pretty spot on this is ladylike from Sydney Grace get these out of the way all right I need a mauve. Let me see if I can grab a mauve. Hold on. I found one from Sydney Grace that I think might just work. This is predictable. It's like a mauve brown, right? I think, I think that will work. So let's grab that. All right, let's jump into the green. So we have Oz, which is a deep sage green. That's gonna be tricky because I don't really have, well, let's try this one because this swatched kind of muted. It wasn't as bold. I think this may be too like foresty green. I'm thinking that's too foresty green, but it's one of the closest shades I have. All right, let's try. This one is more of a beetle, but it looks more sagey than, mm. You know what? I'm going to use that one. That is Wishful Winkin. And is this ColourPop? Yeah, it's ColourPop. Good for you, ColourPop. Now remember Palladian, which is the minty silver. So it's going to be a silver with a hint of green. I picked out a couple of shades. I don't know if they're going to work, but let's swatch and see. Ooh, this has no minty green to it. Let's try this one that also has no mint. Hmm. How about this? Nope. No minty green. Now the thing about it is in the swatches, it looks more silver. I don't see any green to it. So I'm wondering if this shade here, which is Immortal from Sydney Grace can end up being the shade because it looks similar to the swatch. So I'm just gonna grab that. Then we have like a dark green. This is evergreen. It is a forest green with a matte finish. This is the shade that I picked for that, which I think should work. Cause this is, a, this is darker than that shade though. But I feel like I need that darkness. So I'm going to grab that one. All right, let's do Marlin. Marlin is a mint green with a metallic finish. I don't have anything like Marlin, but I am thinking maybe if we can get like a bronzy shade that has a little bit of green to it, mm, that can come close. And for that, no, I need like a really icy green. I don't know, let me see if I have anything anywhere else in my collection. I found it! Oh my God, that was easy. So this is from Cleona Cosmetics and it is the shade Spruce. So they have singles that aren't from the stained glass collection and that is spot on. So we're gonna grab her. We have our pink, we have our rosy pink and our dusty pink, okay. Let's go into the deep bronzes now. This is gonna get interesting because <laughs> I don't know what to start. All right, so we need a gray tone matte for Faye. Faye is a slate brown with a matte finish. So it's a grayish matte shade. And I'm thinking this might be our shade. It's a little bit purpley. Let me swatch. A couple more that I'd picked out. Now I think this shade is gonna be Lucy. This is perfect for Lucy. So Lucy is a smoky taupe with a matte finish. I think that is our Lucy. Hmm, let's see this shade here as well. These are a little bit more purpley though, so I don't think these are gonna go. We need more true grays. The gray from Lethal may be a little, ooh, that may be it, but it's not brown enough. We need like a gray brown shade. I don't know where I'm gonna find that, but I'm going to use Concrete Road as our Lucy. 
All right, I'm not gonna do that right now. Let's do Maxi. Maxi is a charcoal brown with a metallic finish. That is tricky. So we have a couple of shimmer shades that might be close. Like, look at this. This is pretty, like, I feel like that needs to happen. It might not, though. Let me, let me swatch. Because this should be a... No, that's not close. It looks more gray-toned. Let me try this one. Oh, no, that's definitely too purple, so it's not going to be that. How about this one? This is too bronze. So I think it's, yeah, it's going to be this one here, which is, uh, the name is rubbed off. You know what? I wanted to include this shade too. This is Red Dragon. This is not going to work. No. All right. We need a deep bronze, a deep bronze and a champagne bronze. Ooh, this is getting tricky. I feel like I'm running out of luck with the deep shade. So let's do like the champagne that I was looking for. We have Oscar and Flutter. So Oscar is a bronze with a metallic finish and Flutter is a gold with a metallic finish. But these are more muted. So that is way too bright. Oh my God. All right. How about this? This could be the gold shade. It could be. Let me see. Do I have any other goals? This is... That is nice, too. Hmm. I feel like that is cute. And then this one, too. Oh, that is too bright. That is too, too bright. All right, let's try this here. That is... Oh, what is that? Oh, wait a minute. What is that? That is a beautiful, ooh, is that or, t no, that's not deep enough. Is it deep enough? It may not be deep enough. I may put some other shades in here because listen, they may fit. Cause I feel like that shade should be in the palette, okay? That is Peach Harvest. I'm putting it in, I don't care. We can have more shades than Natasha has. Then we have this deep, but it's not deep enough. Like it's not a rich dark. You know what? I'm going to put it in there too. Because I can. Who's going to fight me? Who is going to fight me? But I need a dark bronze. I do need a dark bronze. And that champagne. Which I feel like I don't have. Let's see this. This is too. Yeah, I need that gold and that deeper bronze. I feel like that shade is good too. What is that? Oh, that's my shade. Haha, <laughs> that's my special shade from Sydney Grace. Okay, I'm gonna use those shades and we need like a lighter brown for Lucy. Did we put a shade in for Lucy already? I think we did. That is nice too. Let's see this one. I'm gonna put both of those in, and then I wanna put a dark green in as well. Again, I'm adding shades in. These are not from the actual palette, but I'm, I'm making my own shit up. <laughs> like, come fight me, okay, come fight me. All right, I'm gonna put this dark green, Admiral. All right, so I need to get a deep, dark, like blackened bronze, and then a champagne -y shade. I'll be right back. So I went over to my Pat McGrath shades that I had depotted, and I think these are coming in the clutch, okay? These are from, two of them are from Platinum Bronze, but I was, yeah, like look, that's, that's a deep bronze, right? So we're gonna use her, and then I have these two lighter shades, which I think this one, is going to work for that light inner tear duct, that champagne shade, and then these two other shades. So I think that's it. What other shade do we need here? I think we're done, but let me double check by looking at the shades in the eyeshadow looks because I feel like something may be missing that I'm not pulling in, which is like that dark gray. 
because that it's so pretty it's a rich it's not a gray it's a brown with more of a grayish undertone and I'm feeling like a little bit of that is missing and I want to grab one more shade that looks close to that we have this deep shade that's pretty close but I feel like I want something a little bit more cool tone so let me see if I can find one of those all right I think I found it this is from Sydney Grace and that's how it looks. I feel like that's that's our guy. So I'm going to pop that in. Let me make sure I have all the greenish tones that I need because I feel like I'm missing a green or something because there's a green, like a minty green. No, I feel hmm, like that's the mint that we need. Anything sagey that we're missing? Mm, maybe this green here we should put in like a little bit yeah I feel like I should put that green in yeah I feel pretty good about that so let me go ahead organize these and show you the swatches all right guys so here are the swatches and I think I did a pretty good job these are the swatches of the shades that match up closely to the palette itself. So this is not all 20 of the shades that I selected. So let's see how close this looks to the actual palette swatches. And I'll try to get a shot where we can see both my swatches as well as the palette swatches. And you tell me how close you think I got. I think I did a pretty good job getting close to it. It's a little bit more colorful, like my mint is a brighter mint, right? And even my sage minty green is also brighter. But I think it's still pretty damn close. A little bolder, a little less muted because I don't do muted, but I think it's stunning and I have five more shades that I added in and I'll show you those as well but first let's take a look at these shades so here are the greens again these are a little bit bolder than the palette which is more muted the pinks I think are pretty damn spot on they're the perfect shades they're muted they match up okay and then we have the taupey shades, which I had the most issue with, but I think I still did a pretty good job with those. And I'm going to go ahead and pop in now the other five that I also added into the mix. And so here are the other five shades added in and I swatched them a little bit different. I have groups of twos and then this extra shade just so you can see the differentiation. And looking at it, these two shades look pretty similar. I probably don't need both. So I'm actually gonna remove this one and then swatch the remaining four. All right, so now here you have it. Here is the expanded version of the palette. And like I said, I'm absolutely in love with how this turned out. If you cover up the mints and the pinks, mints and pinks, then you end up with a ton of bronzy taupey shades. And I love that for me. These are absolutely gorgeous. But together, here you have it. I think that's actually really fun. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know I'm being extra, but that is so pretty. I really love how this looks. I cannot get over it. So here again are the minty greens, the pinks, and then the bronzy and taupey shades. This is so stunning to me. I'm absolutely in love. So let's talk about the shades the first shade is that dark green this is peacock from abh it's a deep mossy green and it has a little bit of a dark purple to it but it doesn't translate too much on the skin our mint is from burnovich it's number n01 and it's a beautiful mint then we have wishful winkin from ColourPop. i don't know if they make this anymore 
but this is like a red brown base with a dark green and it looks absolutely stunning this shimmery shade is immortal from sydney grace cosmetics it's a little bit more on the pinky side but i think it goes a little bit better with this color story than a stark silver especially on my skin tone this rich dark green is trailhead from sydney grace cosmetics it's like a blackened green or shimmery mint coming in the clutch is from cleona cosmetics it's the shade spruce our dusty pink is from sydney grace it's fairy Tail. then the rosy red shade is ladylike also from sydney grace this mauvey brown is predictable from sydney grace also coming in the clutch our dark bronzy brown is smoke and mirrors from pat mcgrath and then our shimmery gold is metallurgy from pat mcgrath as well this matte cool tone brown is enjoy the ride from sydney grace this light kind of taupey bronze is platinized from Pat McGrath. Then this smoky taupe is from Sydney Grace. It's a discontinued shade and I can't tell because the shade name rubbed off, but I'll try to figure it out and leave it on the screen and down below. And then pulling up the final shade in the Natasha Denona inspiration is Cool Brown, also from Sydney Grace. Starting out the additional shades that I added in, we have Admiral from Sydney Grace, which is a dark cool tone brown with a little bit of olive to it. Then we have Hellshire from my Tropicolor palette, which is a beautiful taupey bronze. I love the shade so much and it goes with the rest of the color story. And this dark brown bronze is Luminosity from Sydney Grace. I don't know if they make this anymore, but this is such a beautiful bronze. And then to round it out, we have kind of an olivey bronze. This is Peach Harvest from Sydney Grace. So here again are all the shades that I put together for my Retro Glam inspired Build Your Own palette. And here you have the eyeshadows organized in the palette. It's not organized exactly how Natasha Denona's Retro Glam palette is laid out. It is actually organized by the color theme. So we have the sage greens at the bottom, we have the pinky tones, and then we move into the taupey shades. And I am loving this eyeshadow palette right now. It's really inspiring. It's a palette that I personally would wear except for like the rosy shades. Well, really this red shimmery shade in the middle, but the pinks and the mauves, I can get into them. So I am so in love with how this palette looks. I think I did a pretty good job and I came close to the actual color story, but it's definitely a vibe, right? It's a vibe all the time. Okay, it's a vibe. So let's go ahead and jump into the eyeshadow look inspired by the palette and the makeup looks from the promo images but we're going to use my palette that i created all right so let's go ahead and jump into the look inspired by this palette here's the look we're going for i'll pop it up over here so you can see it up close and personal this is such a gorgeous look and as i mentioned before this model is very close to my complexion and i think this looks so stunning on her. It's like a simple smoky eye with a little bit of that sea foam sage green and I'm loving it. So let's go ahead and try to replicate it from the palette that I created. All right, so here are all the shades together and I'm kind of really excited to get this started. So there's this blown out smoky gray brown in the outer V. So we're gonna go in with these matte browns that we have in the palette and just go from there. So let's start out with this shade here, which is like the cool brown shade in the palette. And I'm gonna start out with a smaller blending brush to create a wash of color. And I'm kind of going at an angle because of the way the model is wearing this so it's kind of like a diagonal that goes towards the brow so I'm copying that shape and you can see I'm not pulling it here on the inner crease line I'm kind of creating just that diagonal and stopping it at the brow and that color is looking almost dead on exactly like it looks on the model 
I am just going to keep building that up until I get the depth that it's showing on the model. Let me apply a bit of it on the outer lid space and just blur it and blend it inwards just a little bit, not too, too much. Just getting that color deposited and creating a smoky outer V as well. Now I can't really tell how dark that outer V gets, but I'm going to deepen up my outer V just a bit. So I'm gonna grab the deepest matte, which is Admiral from Sydney Grace. And I'll go in with this small brush from Sydney Grace. It's the SGE01. It is the number one eye brush. And I'm very lightly going to build up just a little bit of depth. Now this shade, is more on the neutral side. It has a little bit of green to it. So I think it will pair great in this look. Just lightly blending that out. Oh, that looks so good. It blends so easily with that cool brown. And it's just given a little added depth and dimension. And I'll just lightly blur it together so it looks nice and seamless i think you guys need to come in don't mind my pimples they're so painful oh my god but isn't that stunning that looks so good now there's a touch of green in the look just on that outer lid and it looks like it's the seafoam green but it has a little bit of depth to it so i'm going to actually mix two shades for this one first i'm going to grab spruce which is our light minty green and i'm going to just lightly apply this color now this color is very shimmery but the look is not overly sparkly so i'm just lightly brushing it on that outer lid space this brush is a builder brush from Sonia G. This is from the new Fusion series. So you can see how we're creating just a light touch of that sea foam without going overboard. So it's almost like creating a satin shade out of a frosty metallic just by using sweeping motions, kind of blending and blurring it out so you don't get like the intense payoff that you can get from such a shade. I feel like this matches up so well with the palette. I'm so happy right now. All right, let's grab the second green. This is Peacock from ABH. And I'm picking up very little of it and just lightly going over the sage green. And this is going to mute the sage just a little bit, but still have it pop out as a shimmery mint but it's not gonna be too bold. Now let's grab the dark matte green, which is Trailhead from Sydney Grace. And I am just going to lightly tap it right on the outer V. And this is gonna give us some added depth while blending like the dark green with the dark brown that we already have. So I'm tweaking the look a little bit because I can't see the outer V clearly. I'm just creating my own blend from the impression that I'm getting from the picture. Now let's go in with Platinized from Pat McGrath. And I'm grabbing a Worker 2 brush from Sonia G. And we're gonna apply that all over the inner lid space and pull it towards the center of the lid. This color is also matching up really well. I'm so happy with the shades I selected. Like they're giving me the exact look that I'm going for. I'm just going to go over the green so it blends a little bit with that shinier shade. Like, come on, that looks almost exactly like it does in the picture. Okay, I got a little carried away in here, but that's fine, it's fine. Let me go ahead and do my foundation and concealer and I'll be right back to finish up the eyes. All right, so I am back and I think this is coming together so well. So I was able to blend down a bit of the inner tear duct and inner lid color with my foundation and concealer, but we're gonna go in and brighten that up a bit like they have in the picture. So we're gonna grab our version of the silver shade, which is Immortal from Sydney Grace. This is a very small detail brush from BK Beauty. It's their 210 brush. 
and I'm popping this color on the inner tear duct. Now ours is a little bit more pink looking and I think it matches up with the photo versus like the swatches on the arms because applying it on the inner tear duct, we're adding that brightness. If you look at the photo, you'll see that there's this intensity on the inner tear duct and I think that's where they added a little bit of the silver rather than just keeping the gold and a little bit of that color is pulled down on the inner lower lash line so we're also going to do that and i'm trying not to bring it too far in because it's not pulled all the way in on the model oh my god that is so pretty and now we're gonna smoke out the rest of the lower lash line i'm going in with our medium deep matte brown which is enjoy the ride from sydney grace and i'm going to use a flat shader brush this is a mac 242 and just run it all along that lower lash line area to add the depth along the lash line and i'm actually gonna keep building that up because that is pretty smoked out on the model so I'm just gonna keep building and blending that out and then I'll go back with our darkest matte brown which is Admiral again grab that on the very tip of the brush and run it on the outer lower lashes just to add the depth and dimension now they're added lashes on that outer lower lash line but I am not going to add those lashes so I'm gonna add this darker brown to add that added depth and I am going to finish up with mascara and the rest of the face and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. And I am back and the look is complete and let me tell you right now, I am so in love with this. So let's take a look at the eyes. Oh, absolutely stunning. I love this eye look so much. The first time I saw it, I was like, absolutely will need to replicate because it's gorgeous. I love cool tone looks. So these cool tone grayish browns that are in this mix, I am in love. And then the green just adds a little bit of interest without being too overwhelming. Completely in love with this look so here you have it this is the final look and i am so in love with it i cannot stress that enough and i was happy that i got to play in my single eyeshadows even some that i've depotted from pat mcgrath like come on they translated so well and hopefully you guys also enjoyed this video maybe it took some inspiration to go play in your own eyeshadow collection so you can replicate the vibes of the palette you don't necessarily have to duplicate it shade for shade but if you can get the essence of the palette the spirit so you can create a look that you're maybe inspired by like i was because the instant I saw the imagery, the instant I saw the photos, I was like, oh my God, I need to replicate this look. I need to do this look because it is so stunning. And I will pop it up side by side with my look. And you tell me, did I come close or did I come close? I think I did a pretty good job getting the look down and it suits me so well. So I am really inspired right now and I'm so excited to just play in eyeshadow and play in makeup. And I love when makeup does that for me. So again, hopefully you guys also enjoyed this video. I will leave all the shadows listed down below with the names and stuff. And I will also indicate the shades that I use to create this look in case you're curious as well as give you details of everything else that I'm wearing on my face, which is really just foundation and a lip color. I do have a little bit of blush, so I'll leave that all down below in the description box, along with links on where you can pick them up. Some of those links will be affiliate links and they're indicated by an asterisk. That means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through any of those links. It's a great way to show your support for the channel because it just gives me a little bit of a kickback for putting you on. And I also have discount codes down below. Some are affiliated and some are not. And if they're affiliated, again, that means I will get a small kickback on your purchase. I will also leave links 
to my Instagram and Twitter where you should be following me along for fun looks such as this and just keep up with my nonsense day to day. And until my next video, which will be very soon, I'll talk to you. Bye guys.